rereading books. What was I trying to say? <laughs> All right, take two. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I'm so glad to have you visiting my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the value of rereading books. I do think that there is a lot of value to be had in rereading books. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Similar to rewatching a movie or a TV series, rereading a book allows us to see more details within a story. An example of this, uh, one book that I have reread probably more than any other is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I think I determined that I have reread this three times. So in total, I've read it four times. And each time that I revisit this book, I discover some new details that I hadn't previously noticed. For example, the last time that I read this book, I found myself noticing a lot more details surrounding Jane's um, like inner thoughts. I just felt like I, I was able to understand Jane and her inner psyche a little bit better on the last time that I read the story. I think because this book is a first person narrative, uh, being able to understand the character that is telling the story just made for a much more deeper, and <laughs> that was my cat charger, um, it made for a much deeper and more enjoyable reading experience. And, you know, Jane Eyre is by no means a short book. And so there's a lot to unpack in this story. And I think there's a reason that it has persisted as a book that is read, that is studied. Um, it's just got so much good stuff in it. And um, yeah, rereading books. What was I trying to say? <laughs> rereading books will definitely reveal more details that we may have missed the first time around because we are no longer wondering what's going to happen. We already know the plot and therefore can pay attention to some of those subtler details. The next reason that I think rereading books brings a lot of value to the reading experience is that we can increase our enjoyment or appreciation of a book, especially if it's one that we read when we were children. So there's that sense of nostalgia that can come up. And for me, that book is The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. Uh, this particular edition I have had since I was a kid, and it's actually the uh, Hallmark pop-up uh, edition of the story. I literally reread this book every Christmas Eve and started doing that a few years ago, and I read it to our two cats and our dog <laughs> every Christmas Eve. And it's just, not only do I remember hearing the story as a kid when I read it, but I look forward to it every Christmas Eve. It, it brings up a sense of nostalgia and it's now a tradition within our little family. It is always fun to play with the, the pop-up, which I'll just show you really quickly. I wonder if anybody um, has seen this particular edition, but I just love, I love this book so much. And you can even spin so that the, the children are having the dreams of sugar plums. It's just adorable. The next reason that rereading offers value is that if we are rereading a book with someone who is reading that same book for the first time, it can add to the excitement of the reading experience. Uh, the book that I will be using as an example is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This was the first Jane Austen novel that I ever read, and it was how I was introduced to the author. 
My hope is to reread this book with my wife Cynthia this year, who has not read Sense and Sensibility, the first Jane Austen novel that I talked her into reading was Pride and Prejudice, and it was such a cool experience to see her get excited about certain points within the story. And at the time, I wasn't rereading Pride and Prejudice while she was reading it uh, for the first time. So I think it would be really fun for us to read Sense and Sensibility at the same time, which will be the second time I've reread it and for her the first time. The next reason that rereading books adds value is that you can dive deeper into a longer story like Jane Eyre, or you can dive deeper into a series. And the example that I'm using is J.R.R. Tolkien. I have read The Hobbit. I read it in middle school, but despite owning the complete set, I have not yet read The Lord of the Rings. I am a little embarrassed to admit this because I have had this lovely box set for many, many years. One of my goals this year is to fully read the Lord of the Rings series, and I would like to reread The Hobbit first. I have seen the film adaptations, so I am very familiar with the story, but um, had I not seen the films and been familiar with the story and I also hadn't read any of Tolkien, I think this series would feel more intimidating. So I'm glad that I have read The Hobbit. I am looking forward to rereading it later this year. And then finally, finally reading The Lord of the Rings. The last reason that rereading can add value is that as we grow and change, our tastes in books can also grow and change. So we may have started out really loving a particular book and then we read it later in our life and don't like it quite the same or vice versa. We may have read a book when we were younger, perhaps some required reading in school and didn't really care for it, but then later reread it as an adult and have such a deeper appreciation for the story. The example that I'm going to be using is actually from Cynthia. She uh, helped me come up with this particular reason of why rereading is valuable. So for her, one of her favorite books when she was in her late teens, early 20s, was Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. So for Cynthia, when she initially read this book, when she was younger, she loved the story. Um, she loved the vampire, you know, folklore and the gothic elements of the story. I think it was a couple of years ago, I got a copy of Interview with the Vampire as a gift and Cynthia sat down to reread it and was shocked to discover that it had not aged well for her at least. And she she ended up finishing it, but just found so many things that were problematic within the story. No longer one of her favorite books, but that's okay because it helped her to recognize how much she has grown as a person. So it was a valuable rereading experience for her. For my own example, um, a book that, not that I disliked it, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to, so I would like to reread it to give it another shot, is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Now, if you watch um, my reading wrap-up video at the end of 2023, I talked a little bit about Coraline, and I initially found this story through the film adaptation and I have seen that movie dozens of times and I absolutely love it. So I think I had some preconceived notions. Well, I know I had some preconceived notions going into the reading of the book. And so I think that's where a lot of my disappointment came from because I, I had just fallen in love with the movie first and wanted the book to be the same but they're just not, and that's okay. And so because I went into the book with preconceived expectations, I don't think I gave the book sort of a fair reading. 
I, I did enjoy it. I ended up giving the book, I think, a 4.5 star rating, but I just love the movie so much and I really want to love the book just as much. And so I am planning to reread Coraline once it gets into the spooky season this year. And because I will no longer have the expectation that the book is going to be exactly like the film, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to enjoy the book a lot more the second time around. And those are just some of the reasons that I think rereading adds a lot of value. I would be curious to know what are some of the reasons that you like to reread re re -read books? Or are there any books that you love rereading or ones that you're hoping to reread later this year? Please feel free to share that in the comments below and maybe we'll inspire each other to read some new books or reread some oldies but goodies. Thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed sharing these reasons why rereading, rereading. Just kidding. I hope that you have a lovely Groundhog Day or whatever day that you end up watching this video. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely and cozy book to curl up with. Bye-bye.